Good morning. Welcome in. It's the Martin Morning Report, and it is time once again for an amazing rundown of all things KMA land from last night on a Monday in KMA land. It's Tuesday, September 24th, and today the Martin Morning Report is brought to you by Clarinda Regional Health Center, advancing exceptional care by providing quality care close to home. We got Hudson here today. Dude's fired up. He's already punched his brother in the lip this morning. Then they bear hugged it out. It's okay. You guys uh, apologized or whatever. He's gone. He, he gone. Number one, we always start the Martin Morning Report with the what, Hudson? The what, Hudson? The what, Hudson? Tougher than a $2 steak. It's not Hudson, but it's right. Tougher than a $2 steak. Performance of the mother flipping day. Ooh, almost. Uh, Maryville. No, excuse me. The tennis teams yesterday in the area. Absolutely dominant performances. 24 to 3 combined, I believe, is what that averages out to, or adds up to. Maryville, 7 to 2 over Trenton. Corey Quinlan, Madison Hennigan, Lindsey Darian, and Vivian Kane all go 2 and 0. Oh. Savannah was a 9 0 winner over Cameron. Kate Fisher, Allie Moore, Reagan Alexander, Addie Steele, Charlie Cope, Addison Prather, all 2 and 0. Oh. Nebraska City Boys went 8 1 over Gross, Maverick Wenninger, Caleb Walker, Mitchell Hodges, all 2 and 0. Oh. The tennis teams are tougher than a $2 stake, and that's the performance of the day. On to number two, three area softball winners from yesterday North Andrew, a 9 7 victory over Platte Valley. Briley, Braley Reynes was two for three, two runs, two walks. Gracie Wilmus, a double, three RBI. Nebraska City won 13-5 over Cass. Taryn Gotze, Haley Nichols each hit two home runs, combining to drive in 10 and scored five runs together. Ashlyn Greenwood, 8-7 over Elkhorn. Reese Fisher and Ellie Stein both were three for four. Fisher Homer drove in three, struck out nine in seven innings. Sophia Dill also went deep. Others from yesterday, Platte Valleys, Chloe Peary, three for four. Emery Dunn, two for four. Mackenzie Swinford, two hits, two RBI. Malia Bliley, Homer struck out nine. Savannah, their standout, Braylon Fox went six, struck out 11. Cass's Layla Formanak was two out of three. Syracuse got three hits from Eliza Hag and McKenna Sprague, and Haley Werner had two hits as well. On to number three, three volleyball winners as well last night. Stanton swept Essex in corner conference play. Lauren Johnson, 12 kills, seven digs. Kyla Hart, 20 assists, three kills. Addie Gettler, 13 digs, and nine aces. IKM Manny went one and one in a triangular, which also in involved... Coon Rapids, Bayard at East Sac County. Mountain City swept North Platte. Number four, another win for Isabel Johnson, the Nebraska City golfer. She goes and wins the home tournament with a 92 for the Pioneers. The team championship also goes to Neb City with a 430. Savannah beat Chillicothe, Cameron, and Lawson behind a 45 from Riley Rosenbaum. They had a 201 team score. Maryville beat Benton and Lafayette with a 206. Elena Pargas, a 43. Bridget Heitschu and Eva Engel of Worth County won the Albany Best Shot Tournament in 84. For those two, Sydney Bruns and Amelia Larson shot an 87 for East Atchison in second place. Carly Gebhards and Peyton Schrader of Rockport, Claire Staley and Amelia uh, and Anna Boone of King City tie for third with an 89. And Addie Schubart of Syracuse, a good day again, taking third with a 100. The Humboldt Table Rock Senior Tournament. Auburn was second as a team. Carter Ginger placed 14th of the Indianola Tournament yesterday in boys golf. He had a 75. East was six with a 307. AL was eighth with a 349. And LC gets a win over TJ. 366 to 410, Aiden Johnson and Levi Bolt tie with an 89. Number five, all the other things that went on yesterday. Jim Hughes Real Estate, KMA Land Athlete of the Week Awards going to Cole Graham and Addison Foster. Graham had six catches, 140 yards, three touchdowns, plus five tackles, one and a half tackles for loss. He also tied the single season touchdown reception record in game four. He has nine. Brandon Bray did that as well in 2000. One more touchdown catch and Cole Graham owns it on his own. Addie Foster also reached a milestone this past week. 142 total assists for the week, meaning she is now over 1,000 for her career. Nottaway Valley, Missouri football moving up to number two in the Missouri eight-man media poll. Albany is five. South Holt is six. Platte Valley is nine. Worth County is 10. Rockport is receiving votes. KMA Land Football Power Rankings. Lennox, Ottoman, Woodbine, Bedford, Southeast Warren, still the top five and eight player. Cam, Boyer Valley, Fremont Mills, up one to eight. East Mills and Arweva in at 9-10. Glidden Ralston tied at 10. Kemper, AHSTW, Underwood, and Tri Center. Then Trainer, Mount Air, one through six, and A1A, 2A. Riverside and Clarinda flip seven and eight. Lewis Central, one. Sergeant Bluff Luton, two. Sioux City East, three. Keelan, four. 
Those last three all up a spot. Harlan moves down three to number five in the 3A, 4A, 5A rankings. And then former Audubon standout Matthew Byswinger honored yesterday. Named the American Rivers Conference Special Teams Player of the Week. Kicked two field goals, two extra points, punted five times, and had an interception on defense for Buena Vista this past weekend. And that's that. That's the Martin Morning Report. Once again, it's brought to you by Clarinda Regional Health Center. Advancing exceptional care by provi providing quality care. Hudson, close to home, okay? You remember that, will ya? And don't punch your brother. And happy birthday, Ethan! Martin Morning Report, we're back in how many? 24 hours. 24 hours, we'll be back tomorrow. See you then.